Mark is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people. Chad, we'll do another reaction. Oh, we just witnessed the end of the new day. Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods just burned one another. Hi, J Rock has come back. What is happening in 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 with the millions? <laughs> oh, and the millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world. That's right, J-Rock is here. And we just witnessed uh, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods just destroy one another. Some, some deep-rooted feelings came to the surface. We're going to check out these disrespectful two to three minutes just the audio no visuals because of copyright claims with wwe hey you know what time it is baby show time what the hell was that out there you're wrestling like garbage are you gonna help me at some point i'm wrestling like if i was garbage what were you you saw i help you have I not done everything but help you? That's all I've ever done. Did I not give you my Intercontinental title shot a couple weeks ago for you? Matter of fact, when you were king of the ring, I was on bended knee, fluttering your damn cake. I did that for you. That and what did you do with quick, those opportunities, by the way? You fumbled the title shot, and you fumbled the crown. Damn. There's a reason that E and I never let you call the shots, man. Because you're too reckless out there, man. You take too many unnecessary risks. Unnecessary risks out there. Shut up, Emotional it. damage. Unnecessary risks. I remember when you were too terrified to take any kind of risk, and that's exactly why you couldn't get a shot at the heavyweight championship well, until damn. I came along. And I took those risks for you, Kof. I'm the reason you became champion. You're the reason yeah. that I became champion now, nah, man. I was a Hall of Famer when you met me. That's why you asked me to be a part of this group, not the other way around. Don't you ever forget that. And you of all people shouldn't be talking about championships and titles because last time I checked, you still haven't won a single championship by yourself now, have you? Well, damn. What? Do you know why you have never been a world champion like me and like E? It's because you have not been good enough. I was good enough to take your beatings for you, wasn't I? I was good enough to believe in you, wasn't I? Just like they believed in you. And what did we do with that relief? We turned it into Kofi Mania and we handed it to you. And what did you do Finish with that? Him. You pissed it away on a silver platter in six seconds to Brock Lesnar. You got knocked the fuck out! <laughs> Swear to God. If you were anybody If I else. was what, Kofi? If I was somebody else, you'd finally get mad? Swing on him, Kofi. Swing on his ass. You, you don't bring up the six seconds to Brock Lesnar. Yeah. You don't do that, bro. See you at the anniversary, Kofi. Swing. J-Rock says this. That's been that's been festering for a while. You could tell they've been waiting to let that out. Oh my God, they just destroyed each other. At the end of the day, the new day is done. They gonna have the anniversary. Big E gonna show up and they gonna fight and he gonna try to separate them and it's, it, he ain't gonna be able to do it. They gonna have to fight, okay? So book it, Kofi versus Xavier Woods at Saturday night's main event. I think it's next month, December, if I'm not mistaken. Because you got Cody and, and Kevin for the uh, undisputed title. They just destroyed one another. Here's what I'm thinking might happen or what I think. Here, here's what I'm thinking should happen. Kofi turns on Xavier. I No, I think, I think, I think Kofi should turn. But he's not. They're going to make Xavier the villain. I think Kofi should be the one to turn. But they're going to make Xavier the villain. 
Don't be shocked if Obafemi from NXT comes up and he's the bodyguard. That would be nice. A way to get him to rub shoulders with Xavier, give him some shine, some extra shine, let him come in and be the bodyguard, much like Diesel and Sid Vicious or Sid Justice was for Shawn Michaels, and then they both went on to become champions. I'm thinking that that's the route they take to bring over to the main roster. All right, because he hadn't been on NXT for a while, for, I want to say, a week or two now. And so I think they're getting ready to move him to the main roster, and this would be the way to do it. So don't be shocked. You heard it here first. Um, but they're going to fight, obviously. They're going to fight in the Rumble, obviously. Big E going to try to make peace. Not going to work. I just... I got to... I, got, I, I, I don't know who turns, to be honest with you. I, I, at first, I was certain it was going to be Xavier. But now, with the way Kofi was looking at him, you see the, the screenshot there? The way Kofi is looking at him, he looked like he about to swing on him. He looked like he finna swing on him. But I don't think that would be enough for him to be a heel because people would people could understand Kofi being mad at that moment. Oh. I'm interested. Even more so now than I was before. I'm interested. I got to see how this goes. Y'all let me know what you think. Post your comments down below. Let J-Rock know what's your reaction to this video. No rhyme. Intended on that line. If you enjoyed J-Rock's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. It is me! Ah! But J-Rock is cooking.